Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Do computers need black boxes for disaster tracking and solving? So, you know, there's a, an old joke of, you know, hey, if, if the black box is the one thing that survives a plane crash, why isn't the whole plane made out of the same materials? We're not there yet, uh, really. But I think, you know, when disaster strikes, you know, when, when we're talking about our computers, it, it's, it's bad. Because unless you've taken the steps, the precautions, uh, to make sure that all your data is safe, you're, you're in trouble. Then you have to worry about uh, data recovery, you know, getting all that stuff back. Uh, there are ways to, to, to dance around it. Uh, but, you know, keeping yourself protected from random spills is certainly a first uh, line of defense. Uh, I have cases on uh, the notebook computers that I carry around with me, uh, if, if only to keep them uh, safe from dings and, and, and scratches. Uh, you know, I have a case on my phone. Uh, it's it's largely to keep it protected from potential elements, and you know I think if 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 there is a black box experience, and I know Sherman goes into this at, at, at detail with the article. Um, I guess it, to me, the best black box experience for your computer is the cloud. If I, for argument's sake, if something happened to my hard drive on my primary machine, it, it would be a problem. I, I'd be a little upset, but I wouldn't be devastated because my black box, all that data is in the cloud. I could replace a hard drive, it's easy. I could lose a notebook computer. I, you know, I, I, someone could steal it. I'd be out in a coffee shop, I turn around, it's gone. Well, I've got the uh, iCloud, the not back to my Mac, but find my Mac feature so I could track it down that way. But even, even so, even if that wasn't the case, I don't keep any data on my notebook computer. I get to it remotely. I mean, I may keep things, you know, temporarily on there, uh, but I keep it all in the cloud so I can get back to it at any point in time. It, it doesn't bother me. And so your black box for your computer is the internet. You can replace the hardware. You can reinstall the software. It will take time. But the idea that everything has to be here at one physical location is more dangerous because you get yourself locked into a really an outmoded way of thinking. So, you know, Sherman brings up a, a good point. Uh, do computers need black boxes for disaster tracking and solving, or, you know, specifically uh, problem solving? Um, you know, you get the idea anymore, and we covered this too with the, the earlier uh, segment on, you know, 2012 being the year of the tablet. We're no longer stuck to, chained to, tethered to, uh, by way of some kind of cable even, uh, these experiences, these com great screen, huge screen. I can't carry that around with me. I, neither, I can't carry either one. They're both the same size. Can't. Don't want to. Don't want to track it. It's a headache. I do not worry. I don't go to bed at night worrying that my hard drive is going to crash. Just not. It's not a worry anymore. It can happen. But I'm not worried. Keep your data safe. If you're going to store it remotely, uh, I, uh, I, I currently waiting for an update uh, for a product. Um, I've talked about it in the past. There's on, uh, plenty of online backup systems. Everyone's got their favorite. I'm sure people will posit them here. Uh, and then I always recommend keeping a copy of like all your precious data, like in a safe deposit box at the bank. Uh, back it up once a year. Keep regular backups off site. You never know what's going to happen with that stuff.